Okay, now we're going to work a couple of example problems with Coulomb's law. And Coulomb's law says that F, the force, is equal to K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared. And this force F here in Newtons is the electrostatic force between these two charges, Q1 and Q2, which will be measured in Coulombs. And R is the distance between the charges in meters and K is the electrostatic constant, and that's measured in Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Okay, in this first example, we're given two charges, uh, Q1 and Q2, and each of them are, we're told, a magnitude of one Coulomb, and then the distance between them is one meter. So we'll make a note of that here on the picture. That distance is one meter, and we're told to find the force the electrostatic force between them. So we just put the numbers into this equation. And you can actually do this one in your head. You'll see right here how easy it is. K is 9 times 10 to the ninth Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. And then all the other numbers are just 1. But let's write them in with the units. So this is times 1 Coulomb and times 1 Coulomb again, Q1 and Q2, divided by R squared, and that's one meter squared. And you can see the units cancel out. Both of these coulombs cancel out with the coulomb squared and this meter squared up here cancels out with this meters squared there. And you're left with 9 times 10 to the ninth newtons. That's 9 billion newtons and that's a lot of force. And what this example basically shows you is that one coulomb is an unrealistically large amount of charge. We don't typically find one coulomb static charges sitting on things. And you can see why. One coulomb exerts a huge amount of force. On another one coulomb charge, the force is 9 billion newtons. All right, in this example, we're given two charges, Q1 and Q2 and we're told the distance between them is four centimeters and we're told to find the electrostatic force so again we'll use this equation k q1 q2 over r squared and i'll come down here where i have a little more room k is nine times ten to the ninth newton meter squared per coulomb squared let me fix that nine nine times ten to the ninth uh, q1 is two point five microcoulombs. That's 2.5 times 10 to the negative sixth coulombs because that's what micro means. Micro means 10 to the negative sixth. And the same thing on Q2. It's 4.3 times 10 to the negative sixth coulombs. Take note here in the in the book the problem is stated as negative 4.3 microcoulombs is the charge on Q2. But what we put in here is the magnitude of the charges. We don't need to worry about the direction, uh, the, the, the positive or minus, negative sign. If we were setting these up uh, at certain positions on a coordinate plane, we might take the positive and negative into account. But right now we'll just figure out the magnitude of the force, how much force, and we'll note that the force has to be an attractive force because the charges have opposite signs. So this is kq1 q2 and we divide all this by r squared and r is 0.04 meters squared and then the units cancel out. The coulomb squared down here cancels with these coulombs and the meters squared cancels with meters there and then you put all this in the calculator. 9 times 10 to the ninth times 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4.3 times 10 to the negative 6 divide by 0.04 squared and don't forget to square the 0.04 down here it's a very common mistake to just to forget to square that but this comes out to about 60 newtons which is still a pretty substantial amount of force even from these tiny little charges and the reason we get a, a fairly strong force even from tiny charges is because electricity is inherently a very strong force as you see by the size of this number, the electrostatic constant, 9 times 10 to the ninth. And we just take note that this, this force is attractive. These charges are pulling together because these, these charges have opposite sign, a positive 2.5 microcoulombs and a negative 4.3 microcoulombs. If they were the same sign, both positive or both negative, then the, the force would be pushing them apart.